weather forecasters predict the conditions will pick up on Saturday as sunny skies return in many parts of the country, but will be accompanied by brisk winds. The UK will have some clear periods, but with showers possible at times, particularly in Scotland. Low warnings are in place for most of England into the early hours of Saturday, and in northeast Scotland until 2 p.m. Will Lang, chief meteorologist at the Met Office, confirmed that conditions would change for the worse over the weekend. He said, while Saturday will be a pleasant but breezy day in many places, we are in for a change on Sunday with a wet and windy day in stark contrast to what has been typical recently. People walk through the rain in London, image wrecks, Shutterstock, we have already issued a Met Office weather warning for the impacts of wind and rain in southwest England and South Wales. Southerly winds will gust at around 35 to 40 miles per hour and up to 50 miles per hour for exposed coasts and hills. Rain will be most persistent over hills and parts of the Brecon Beacons and Dartmoor could see as much as 60 to 80 millimeters of rain. The inclement weather created travel chaos for much of the country on Friday, severely hampering travel plans for commuters. Getaways were hit by traffic jams, axe trains and flights. A woman reacts after getting caught in a sudden downpour, image London News Pictures Limited and a lightning bolt even set a house on fire. But one angry, belay train passenger said, this has been expected all week. After weeks of begging for rain, we finally got our wish yesterday, but the change brought more than bargained for by most. As the heatwave came to a dramatic end, storms and torrential rain sparked mayhem, with wildfires destroying fields and roads, rail and air travel brought to a halt. A couple look out across the Thames during heavy rain in London, image wrecks, Shutterstock, two teenage boys and a man are feared to have drowned in separate incidents. There were an estimated 90,000 lightning flashes up and down the land, many causing blazes on tinder dry fields. As families set off on holidays during the first week of school holidays, many did not get far. Train firms struggled with the conditions and services on the East Coast. Mainline were disrupted by lightning. Tourists shelter from the rain beneath umbrellas, image wrecks, shutterstock, thousands of Euro tunnel passengers face delays of about two hours in Kent after air conditioning failed. The firm said it had taken unprecedented decision to cancel thousands of day trip tickets yesterday to ease the long queues. London North Eastern Railway advised passengers not to travel due to the extreme weather conditions and signal failure throughout the route. An amber weather warning was issued on Friday, image Met Office, the advice sparked fury among commuters. 1. Jonathan Ellis, tweeted, how can you give this advice? People have places to be, things to do. We can't just delay by a day or two. Have some respect for paying passengers and find a real solution. This weather has been expected all week. Another described how a train from London to Leeds was unbearable, crammed with people, and the temperature on board was 33 CSH. He added, people can't breathe. All services between Leeds and York, operated by Northern, were stopped because of a lightning strike on signals. Speed limits were in place for some Chiltern Railways, Northern and Greater Anglia services because of fears the heat could cause the tracks to buckle.
teams from Network Rail have been and continue to be on standby this morning and are out responding to issues and are working hard to restore services where possible. On the roads there were warnings of dangerous conditions caused by heavy rain and spray in central and eastern parts. Earlier, the heat had melted tarmac on roads in Brighton and Godalming, Surrey. Hundreds of air passengers last night faced long delays and cancellations due to storms after air traffic control and that's put restrictions in place. A spokesman said, the Met Office has issued a yellow warning for thunderstorm activity across London and the east of England, with flights likely to be adversely affected. A couple look out across the Thames during heavy rain in London. Image Rex, Shutterstock, yesterday was expected to be the busiest day of the summer for flights out of Britain as millions jet off on holiday. Bookies have slashed the odds for next month being the hottest ever August and are offering even money on the current all-time high of 38.5c being breached. Alex Aparty of Ladbrick said, Brits can strap themselves in for a sweltering, and potentially record-breaking, few weeks.